Hello friends, I am Vikram from Ezeon Technologies. Welcome to my Spring Framework project work series. In my previous video, I discussed about the requirement I am going to develop in this contact application. And today, in this session, I am going to talk about how flow is important for any project. So, let's come to the flow. So flow is very important because it is describing the behavior of the system and it is describing how the system is working and flow is also important because uh, there are multiple entities involved in the software development like software developers, testers, managers, clients, they are nothing but stakeholders, end user, training team, and training, training and implementation team. So we are, there are multiple people working in a common project so they all understand system as a complete system and they all understand common information there should not be any gap means developer understand something tester do something else so it should not happen so all the people involved in the project must understand the requirement clear cut so flow is helping us in uh, that way and it is also helping in communication because uh, when multiple people are there so one has to develop another has to test and uh, the same information will be given to the uh, client so everyone has to understand the common thing in a correct way so flow is very important for this purpose this is also helping developers in deciding the navigation of the project so let's take some example for uh, login flow so here I'm going to discuss the login flow user login so let's have a quick look so when user come to a system he will get one login form if he is not having any account he can go for the registration and uh, once your registration is successfully done when the registration is successful then again user can come to the login and if registration is failed error message will be displayed and user will see the registration screen right let's assume that registration is successfully done and user has got all the username passwords right now once user enter uh, login details login credentials the system will do the authentication check if authentication is successful user will be lent to the user dashboard user will be redirected to the user dashboard and if anything anything goes wrong in the authentication the system will display the error message and the user will be sent back to the login form again so this is a simple flow for the login I'm not using any standard modeling technique here because this is a very first project here so a simple process a simple technique can describe the flow now let me talk about the another flow so suppose when you have to go for the uh, contact deletion user will come to the contact listing and user will select here record which uh, will be deleted here so user can select single record or user can select the multiple records so once selection is done user has to click the delete action delete, delete button will be there and uh, as soon as you click on the delete button you will get a confirmation are you sure confirm deletion if user says yes the record will be deleted and uh, with a proper message you will be sent back to the you will be redirected to the contact listing and if user cancel the deletion operation here the user will be uh, redirected to the contact listing without any action without performing any delete operation so this is another simple way to understand the flow now I have designed here one more flow this is for the edit edit flow just a minute not this one this is edit flow so how edit will be done here just have a look at this so user will come to the contact list to do the addition and to do the editing so from the contact list user will select the record which will be deleted and uh, once you select the record you will get a pre-filled form with the existing detail and then user perform the changes so whatever the required changes user want he will update and then once updates are done user will click on save button and here if everything is correct if the record is successfully updated you will get a message here 
display uh, the successful message and then go to the listing but if anything went wrong in updating your con uh, contact you will be uh, getting one error message display some error message and then go to the uh, contact uh, pre-filled form uh, where the uh, user has updated the details so this is how we can simply work on the flow so I have done here simple flow for the uh, login delete the record edit the record but we can uh, we should design the flow for all the operations we are going to develop in this project right and uh, one more thing I'm going to talk here you can use some standard modeling technique here like uh, flowchart you can use for designing the flow these are the standard things given in software engineering and you can use activity diagrams process diagrams so these are some uh, standard uh, modeling techniques software companies are using so I recommend you to learn these things and uh, design your flow using the standards but uh, to start a first application to start a simple project even the simple technique works great so uh, in this session it is enough in next video I will talk about some more thing here and don't miss any of the uh, videos complete the series one by one step by step and if you have any of the difficulties queries you can comment you can ask your question in comments and if you like my work subscribe my channel thank you very much for watching